Shalom, family. Shalom. This is Soldier Cigar Yad out of Sakari, Chicago, coming back at you with another quick lesson. I'd like to start, of course, by going, uh, giving all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Hamashiach, Wamlach, Yahweh Shai. Uh, we're going to be going back into the Edomites today and how we could prove with the Bible and with history that they are the so called white man, the, the modern day Caucasian. And right now, I'm going to start here in Matthew 2 and 1. Uh, it says, Salakia. Now, when Jesus, Yahushai, was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now, I mean, we all know Herod was an Edomite, but let's just get it in. Let's just prove that real quick. It says, Herod. The name of royal family that flourished among the Jews in the times of Christ and the apostles. Herod the Great was the son of Antipater of Idumea. So here we have Herod being reckoned as the son of an Idumean, Antipater. Um, and we know that Idumea is just the Greek word for, for Edom, for the land of Edom. You know, the land of Esau. Just real quick to prove that. We'll get it in the scriptures. Salakia. You see the word Idumia, actually, right here. Upon Idumia is just uh, it's translated into Idumia, but it's the uh, the Hebrew word for Edom. Edom red, uh, Edomite, Idumian descendants of Esau. So Idumians were descendants of Esau. They were Edomites. So we know that Herod descended from an Edomite, um, Antipater. Let's go further into the Herodian dynasty, which actually could be seen throughout the scriptures. Real quick. It's just a little... A little chart to make it a little easier, but we see, you know, all these sons of Herod being reckoned, you know, called Herod in the scriptures, referring to these different sons. This whole house of Herod, the Herodian dynasty, um, were Edomites. And we know Herod ruled in Rome. Real quick, this says the Herodian dynasty was a royal dynasty of Idumean Edomite descent, ruling the Herodian kingdom and later the Herodian tetrarchy as a vassal state of the Roman Empire. So you had Edomites ruling Rome, Edomites in control of certain parts of Rome, and also they were appointed um, heads over Jerusalem, over our land at the time. And that's how you have Herod ruling during the during the time of Yahushai. Yeah, we have uh, here Antipater the Idumian. This is Herod's father. He was the founder of the Herodian dynasty and father of Herod the Great. A native of Edom, southeast of Judah, between the Dead Sea and Gulf of Aqaba, which under the Romans came to be known as Idumia. So here we have Idumians being reckoned as rulers of Rome. And not just this, but when we go here, this is actually a Jewish encyclopedia. And this is why we like to say, you know, the white man, he tells on his damn self. Uh, we'll find here in the Jewish encyclopedia for the entry Esau. Let me scroll down. We'll clearly let you know Esau, Edom, later represents Rome. So the Edomites came to be to, to represent Rome because we know the original Romans were, you know, like like people such as the Etruscans. They were Japhites. They, they, they descended from from one of the sons of Javan Kittim. But like like Esau is known to do, comes into a land he takes over that land and he assumes the identity of them people. 
So this is how Esau later became known to represent Rome. Not only this, we have in the back in the Jewish encyclopedia, uh, the entry for Idumia. It's going to line up exactly and tell you the same thing. Lucky, let me find it real quick. Okay, down here. The name Edom is used by the Talmudists for the Roman Empire, and they apply to Rome every passage of the Bible referring to Edom or to Esau. So Edom or Esau was commonly applied to Rome, to the Romans. They applied every time it said Edom or Esau to the Romans, the, the 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 Romans at that time, which were the, which later turned into the Edomites, and not not just uh, not only do we see that in Jewish criticism, but also in Christian criticism. This is um, a commentary on Genesis thirty six and forty three by John Gills, uh, a presumed Christian. Uh, most likely an Edomite himself, again, telling on themselves. This is the criticism for 36 and 43. Duke Magdio and Duke Eram. Duke Aram. Magdio also, Jerome says, was in the country of Gabalina, formerly possessed by the Dukes of Edom. And the Targum of Jonathan says, this Duke was called Magdiel from the name of his city, which was a strong Migdal or tower. And Jarchi's note upon this word is, this is Rome. So the Jewish writers elsewhere say that Esau had an hundred provinces from Syria to Magdio, as it is said, Duke Magdio, Duke Eram, this is Rome. So again, the, the, the Romans being referred to as Edomites, or vice versa, the Edomites being referred to as Romans. And this is making the claim that the Romans go all the way back to Duke Magdio and Duke Eram of Genesis 36 and 43. And actually, let's just get that real quick. It says, and there, and these are the names of the dukes that came out of, they came of Esau according to their families after the places by their names. Duke Timna, Duke Alva, Duke Jetheth, uh, down here, 43. Duke Magdio, Duke Aram, these be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitations in the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. So not only do Christian scholars agree, but, you know, the, the Jewish man, the the, the Am Amalekites, the, the synagogue of Satan himself, will let you know that the Romans were Edomites. And we know we know that the Romans were were Caucasians. The the Empire of Rome were were all Caucasians, so called white people, which plays into a bigger prophecy of the fourth beast, uh seen in Daniel being the Roman Empire. And we know out of the Roman Empire comes or out of the fourth beast comes the little horn, which we know is, is America and Babylon. So not only do we have Esau being reckoned as Romans, the fourth beast, we know that the little horn uh, is reckoned with Babylon as well. And Babylon is reckoned with America. And we know those who are in power in America are, again, the Edomites, the Caucasian, the white man, the Americans, the that the sprang out of the Roman Empire, that the sprang out of the, the, the ten... The ten horns. So that real quickly was just showing you how you could prove it with history, with textual criticism, with with the Bible. That Esau not only goes back to the Greeks, as we went into the last class, but they'll go back to the Romans, all uh but both being uh Caucasians, both being so called white people, race of so called white people. So with that like to say Shalom.